Four metre swells battering the stricken ship off the New Zealand coast have caused more oil to spill into the sea. Conditions deteriorated so much the crew of the Rena sent out an SOS and were evacuated from their vessel. Abandoning ship. All 24 crew of the Rena and those working on the ship salvage were taken to dry land today after the ship started moving. A Navy officer who was in an inflatable boat alongside the Rena was injured when a salvage member trying to get off fell on him. The Rena is now a ghost ship, empty apart from its cargo and the oil that continues to leak from its hull. Until today, it was estimated that 20 to 30 tonnes of oil had escaped from the Rena. But bad weather overnight meant that the oil spill is now estimated to be 10 times larger. Somewhere between 200 and 300 tonnes has escaped from the ship. It will be days to potentially weeks of effort that we're going to start being involved in here. Significant oiling, significant issues around that oiling, including significant waste issues. Today they were preparing for that oil waste, lining large containers with plastic. They don't know where the oil is leaking from, but it's brown in colour, suggesting that it may be oil that was trapped inside the bilge rather than from a new hole in the tanks. Environment Minister Nick Smith says those responsible will be held to account under the Resource Management Act for what he called an awful environmental tragedy. This event has come to a scale where it is New Zealand's most uh, significant uh, maritime environmental disaster. The cost for the clean-up was already over a million dollars, but bad weather meant today's emergency response was muted. Helicopters equipped with dispersant remained on the ground. The Awanuia was also out of action. It was damaged as it pumped oil from the Rena yesterday and is now in Tauranga Harbour being repaired.